Okay, there you go. I did the I did the LUD face. He made a 10 minute video on this. I always say this to you guys at some point, I'm gonna hit the stop streaming button forever. But I promise it won't be today, and it won't be tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. It's weird to- Ludwig said he never even got a congratulations for getting the most subscribed. Wait, what? What? Really? That's what he was say, complaining about? Say, but the hardest decision I ever made was picking between YouTube and Twitch. It doesn't seem like it should be. Feels like there should have been harder things. There's like breakups. Point. I had to choose what college I went to, what job I had, where I moved. In Arizona, Andy. Okay, bro. <laughs> moved? Those were scary too, but this feels like I'm giving up the most. Because Twitch means a lot to me. I love Twitch. I really do. And before anyone just thinks that the reason I left... Someone said, Arizona State is the Harvard of the Southwest. <laughs> You bro, ASU's number one in innovation. The only thing that keeps ASU in like any charts other than chlamydia is their their proximity to defense contractors. Okay, that's it. I think they have a solid engineering department, if I'm not mistaken. And that's pretty much it. And uh and I say this as someone who went to Rutgers, okay? Same shit, but in the in the Northeast, okay? Rutgers is the ASU of the Northeast. Was because of money. Let me sit you down. And let me tell you exactly what happened. You see, my partner contract with Twitch ended in November. It actually ended right around when I was in Italy. And during those times, I was talking to Twitch and I was talking to YouTube, as you do. And originally, I was like, I'm just going to chat with YouTube to leverage the deal to buff my Twitch deal and then stay with Twitch. Because I'm a Twitch guy. There are people out there who think of Twitch and they think of me. When I think of my own identity, I, I think of Twitch. I don't know why he's like hyping this up this much. Like I've always thought of him as like, yeah, he's like a big Twitch streamer for sure. My but I always thought of him as someone who like made please, YouTube content for his Twitch. Like, or he made, he uses Twitch to make YouTube content, which he's really good at. Like he's really good at YouTube. He's always been a good YouTube Andy. And I think originally he used to One make, he used to use his YouTube you, small, love you, and to promote his Twitch. Has. And he did a good job with that and he got to a certain point. But then after that, he was just like, all right, I'm just going to use my Twitch stream to make YouTube content. And then I started chatting. My guy had 80 candles opening stream on YouTube. Why wouldn't he hype it up? It was great marketing. No, of course. It's the smart fucking thing to do. I'm not. Guys, I love, I love Ludwig. Hassan, I'll be getting away with it. Thank you for the tank of the subs. I, I am like, I, I'm, I'm a fan of Ludwig. You guys know this. Guys. guys. Money, yes. Guys, listen, listen. I'll, I'll explain this, okay? Guys, I hope you guys understand this, okay? Because this this works at the top and at the bottom, okay? For small amounts of money and big amounts, this will always stay true, okay? When it comes to shit like this, it is not about the money money. It's what the money means. It's the symbolism of the money, though. If you do something that is valuable... And I know what excuse is saying, and he's right. He's right. It's about, it's about Twitch not, like, protecting, I guess, or taking care of their top content creators or, like... So, the top content creators on Twitch are hot commodities, okay? PP. The top content creators on, on the platform are hot commodities. So much so that, like, Twitch is willing to throw the bag at them to keep them on the platform. But Twitch used to do that, okay? Twitch, <clears throat> Twitch used to do that back in the day, in, especially in the Fortnite era. And then they stopped doing that. Hassle, hassle, okay? Hassle, happy to be especially hassle, because, hassle, like, hassle. after Mixer fell... Because Mixer started giving like a f load of money and then Twitch was like, okay, maybe we need to keep, keep giving money to our top content creators to keep them here. And then, and then when, once Mixer fell, Twitch was like, oh my God, like we've dominated space. We own like 70% of the live streaming marketplace and that, you know, these guys aren't going to leave, right? These guys aren't going to leave no matter what. Where are they going to go? Facebook? Like Facebook will throw the bag at you, but like you lose relevance and it doesn't really matter. So I think that Twitch did get cocky in the sense that like, we don't really need to do too much for our top content creators in the same way. So when there's a competitor out there, when there's a competitor out there that's like, we'll give you millions of dollars, okay? Um, And especially if that platform is 
basically a, a platform where you won't lose your relevance, you know, because YouTube is not a platform where you would lose your relevance. Like people go there millions and millions. More people go to YouTube and visit YouTube than Twitch. So when YouTube starts giving money, of course, streamers are going to be like, well, obviously, like I have an opportunity to make a lot more money from YouTube here than Twitch. Okay. So-called socialist champion and competition under capitalism. Capitalism. How curious. What? Oh, God. Please stop. Everybody says, yo, dude, that's this value. And the person who's harboring you says, hey, man, you're worth this. And we know that for a fact. Asshole. We're going to give you that. And it's right at, all the way at the bottom, right? And like, but, dude, that's millions right there. Millions, right? But everybody agrees that you're, you, what you put out, the effort, that's the, the, the value that's worth it. And they're giving you that, right? It's like, dude, fuck, man. Like... He's saying that the I'm amount of money that Twitch is willing to spend on its content, on its top content creators now to keep them on the platform is disrespectful when they know that the market value for the top streamers is significantly, significantly, in a lot of instances, 10x higher. So is he saying, yeah, money is important in this circumstance, but also on top of that, like there are people who are willing to pay 10x more. And we know that there are people willing to take, uh, pay 10x more. We know the value of our worth uh, and and... So it's disrespectful when Twitch says, you know, we're not going to pay you that. We're going to give you one tenth of that. Okay. That's it. You can say so entitled, but it's true. It's like, it, it's literally like a, a top NBA player without, if there were no like, uh, you know, uh, uh, caps, like salary caps in the league, it's like a top NBA player being like, well, why the fuck would I stay here and get paid a million if I can get, uh, if I can go to a, still a pretty solid and competitive NBA team. Okay. And, and, you know, be able to even win championships potentially while also getting 10 X that Scotty Pippen, uh, moment, this whole combo is dog water. Please never talk about yourself like this. I mean, I'm not talking about myself like this. I'm just telling you that I know what, uh, what XQC is saying. I am describing to you what, uh, XQC's Pepe gun meant. No, I know, but it's actually really insufferable to the average person. The difference between the average person feeling that this is insufferable versus an NBA salary negotiation or whatever is I that because the NBA yeah, salary negotiation numbers. doesn't have input from the person watching uh, watching ESPN on their couch that like you don't feel the same way. That's it. That's the difference. Like I understand why you think it's insufferable, why you're saying it's insufferable, but that's literally the main difference is that like you have no input in the matter. You can't just be like, dude, shut the up stop complaining i'm sure if you had the opportunity to say that to the uh to the sports player or whatever i'm giving you inside baseball okay i'm giving you inside baseball uh analysis here and you're like dude it's so insufferable okay dude i don't know what to tell you okay yeah i know we we do something that is incredibly incredibly fortunate okay i get it and we get paid for it it's ridiculous but it's so odd to me that I have like such a gigantic sum of my audience that is just like resentful all the time, okay? It's like, why are you so resentful while you're watching me every day, okay? You're literally, what, what are you like defending the corporation instead of the streamer that you enjoy watching? That's such a weird take. It, it's so weird. It, you're literally being like, dude, it's so insufferable that a worker is in this circumstance, okay? No matter what, we are still contracted workers, okay? We get paid a load of course but there's still a deep chunk of that revenue that we generate for the platform that goes back to the platform all right just because you and i are not all that different okay with what we do and with our um obvious like skill set which is nothing right because i i'm not skilled in any meaningful capacity doesn't change that reality like it's still a person whose value is to that degree and twitch is deciding while other Twitch is deciding that like you know it doesn't matter it, it doesn't matter that like other platforms are willing to give you this much and the more i did the more i realized that youtube made more sense for me like i love streaming but what actually makes me the happiest is just making dope shit. Making things that I think are cool. And hopefully some other people out there think they're cool too. Like things chatters get mad. Okay, well, this is the last thing I'm going to say on this. Chatters get mad because you willingly, voluntarily give me $5 a month. Okay, because you're like, this content to me is worth $5 a month. You stream eight hours, 10 hours a day, six hours a day, whatever. And I think that's uh, worth $5 a month. I'm going to give you this $5 a month. Okay. And with that, you get to avoid the ad breaks at the top of the hour, which I'm going to run right now. Rather. Right. Or you say, oh, I have an Amazon Prime. My mom has an Amazon Prime. I'm going to connect it to my Twitch and I'm going to get one free Prime subscription uh, a month and I'm going to use it on you instead of Ludwig because Ludwig is gone. Okay. So you, you, you do that. And in that process, you voluntarily are giving money for content that's otherwise free. 
okay completely free and then twitch says that's great i'm gonna take a percentage of that like twitch literally turns around and takes a percentage of that and then you get mad at the content creator for talking about it rather than you know, uh, uh, while whilst completely disregarding the way that like monetization works on this platform. You know what I mean? You get servers and bandwidth for free though. Yeah, of course. Of course. There's a lot that still Twitch offers. I can't make my own platform. You guys get for being transparent about your work. Yes. There is no other content creator. There is no other type of content where the content itself relies heavily on the community. Okay, so because of that, there is a level of relatability between the Twitch streamer and the Twitch watcher. After all, we're both dickheads who spend literally eight hours a day in front of the computer looking at the internet. So because of that, a lot of people are just like, well, what the f***? Like, what you're doing, I could do as well, but you make so much money doing that. And like, I could do what you're doing. And, and therefore, f*** you. Like, every time you talk about it, it feels like you're, you know, complaining when you're in a position that is significantly uh, more fortunate than me. And that is true. I, I am content creators, especially Twitch content creators at the top are in a profoundly more uh, fortunate position than the people that are watching. Hassan, it is little that reality is, is true. Waiting, but I haven't gone on LSF in a month and am now a reformed Orthodox Marxist. Please let people me get mad at you because you tell them that they should be unhappy with their miserable existence and their conditions, not realizing that you're telling them that so that they can make a change in their environment. Instead, they just sit stew bitterly over the fact that they're not successful, which is exactly what the system wants them to do people actually get mad at you for taking part of what the consumer spends even though it is 100 percent up to the streamer but it's the same way in a company and just because of that people get mad at your occupation solely for existing yeah well the other reason is because they can get mad that's the other reason they can get mad because i will respond to it whereas even if they they don't even think about having that kind of anxiety or that kind of anger towards any other form of content that they consume or watch okay there's never a moment where you're like, I can't believe I'm buying, I can't believe I'm paying to listen to Taylor Swift's latest album, okay? You don't say, oh man, I, I can't believe this movie theater is demanding I pay $15 to watch this movie, okay? But in this situation, it's like, I'm paying $5 Speaking of prime sub just a month to you, to you, okay? When I don't even have to, and I didn't run the ad yet, I want to run it now, sorry, I, I keep forgetting. But I'm paying $5 a month when I don't even have to, and I'm doing it because I want to support you, or other people are doing it because they want to support you, okay? But also at the same time, I'm going to get mad at you because of the collection of viewers that have decided to, that have chosen to do that has uh, put you in a, in a super affluent uh, uh, wealth bracket. You see what I'm saying? Nobody can do what you do, though. I'm not joking. You actually worked hard to develop what you do. Cool leftist politics. Time for the nine months I mean, of brain so far, no not many people have been able to do that. Sand. Yes. Keep it up. They just think your job is stupid easy and you don't put any work into it. No, I, I know. I know people think that. I know. And my job is not super labor intensive other than the fact that I'm, I have to be constantly on and entertaining and you know, all this other stuff. But like, it's not like I'm working at a coal mine. It's funny is when podcasters mauled that you are more popular at their own profession. Yeah. So I get it. it. I think it comes with the platform. Like it's just a part of the process, but so far, so far there hasn't really been another, uh, another content creator that does what I do anyway. Let's go. Things like mogul money. Things like the, the Christmas album. You know? The, the kickball tournament. Any of these ideas that take a lot more time and effort than just booting upstream and reacting to something or playing Super Auto Pets or whatever. Okay, fucking chill, bro. makes me happy and I'm proud of. And if I stayed with Twitch, the we the, I, like, I can't get into the specifics, but the way the deal was structured is I would have to be grinding hours. Imagine a leftist community Again, criticizing I, I can't workers get into the for details. leveraging their labor power to get the bag. But YouTube offered me more money than Twitch. I'll just say straight up, they offered me more money. And both platforms had me streaming the same amount of hours. That was the original deal. And even then, with the same amount of money, I talked to every single person I knew. My mom, I talked to like all the creators I respect. I, I talked to Mizkif for advice. Mizkif, I was like, hey, can you give me advice, Mizzy? And he's like, what the hell are you talking to me for? I don't know. I don't know. I called up old friends. I called up Bobby Scar. I, I talked to everyone I knew because I, I, was, I, I, I was at a loss. But I ended up deciding to go with Twitch, which might seem backwards after the news, after what you've probably seen. Because that's not what reality is now. And after I decided, the, the main decision maker, I didn't know what to do after talking to all those people. 
So I did what I normally do. I flipped a coin. I even recorded the entire thing. I basically made the biggest decision of my life for a content coin flip. Heads, I go to YouTube. Tails, I stay on Twitch. Now, surprisingly, you might have noticed that it landed on Twitch. Yet, this is not the news story that came out today. Ludwig resigned with Twitch. That's kind of not that exciting. And that's because right after the coin flip, I felt a wave of yes. relief, which made me think it was the right decision. And so I was happy with it. And I went to the guys at YouTube and I, and I said, look, I want to hop on a call with you guys because I, I respect you. I think you guys are doing cool things at YouTube. I really do think that. But I'm going with Twitch. And they fought for me. And I realized in that moment that even though I've been with Twitch for three plus years, even though people call me the golden boy of Twitch, I've never felt like the golden boy of Twitch. I've never felt particularly loved by Twitch. I love Twitch, Bing -bong but it hasn't been a two-way street. You know, I... I have no idea who calls him the golden boy of Twitch. It sounds so selfish, right? Like, I'm making a shit ton of money. I, 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 a lot of people, I have a lot of fans. Everything's going... I'm 35, I paid Rosen Alabama wow. Heat for five years at the Department of Transportation. I make roughly 30k a year with overtime. I'm jealous of your net worth, but I don't regret giving you my prime month after month because you can't help me live a small price to say if I do say so myself. Hustle. Look, people who are going to say yikes to that and say that you suck for that, I just want to remind everybody that you don't have to do that, okay? Miss Keith. He does. Our infrastructure is dog shit, but you also do deserve more. Holy shit. Has also, this is why I don't like sniping positive comments because it leaves people to it leaves people open to get fucking attacked for no reason and it's annoying but i feel like a whiny eight-year-old child who just wants some approval from a parent and i never got that i never got reached out to after the subathon not even like a hey you made us the most money anyone has ever made us in a month thanks i'll follow None you of that. to youtube hassle i never got anything but I love the culture of Twitch. But YouTube, they gave me something when I came back. It was like some insane accidental negotiation tactic. Of Hello. They allowed me to stream way less hours a month. And that maybe you're thinking, are you just trying to, you know, rest, invest, as they say, basically do less work and get more money. But it gives me more time to do cool shit that I'm super excited about. It gives me more time to work on the yard. Make a new mogul money show that I can actually do. Did Twitch talk to you after the election stuff? No, of course not. Every single week. And I don't have to go live trying to fill hours so I can make enough money so I can do these cooler ideas. I want to make the biggest Smash tournament in the world. And I'm going to in 2022. I want to have the biggest prize pool, the most entrance ever for Melee and Ultimate. I want to do that. But this is going to cost me probably a million dollars. And I was thinking of ways to make a million dollars so that I could spend a million dollars without it being dumb. Happy three months. You've made I was my thinking dead about doing another subathon. Qualified for bearable. I was thinking about doing like a subathon in person. I, some expansion on the idea when I decided to go with Twitch because I need... I'm sorry, but I don't care about my job valuing me if I'm making millions. Um, yeah. But then when you get to that point, you don't think that way anymore. And also you should always make sure that your job values you. Yeah. And you have $1 million. Stop complaining. It's literally either you or your employer making that money. Yeah. Listen, I say this regularly. If you're making a million, that means the company's making 300,000 just by turning it on. You know what I mean? At least 300,000, 400,000 just by turning the keys on. That's just how it is. Facts don't care about your feelings, Andy. Hassle, hassle, hassle. Why does it seem like you're going to leave Twitch too? No, I'm not leaving Twitch. Needed more money to be able to do a cool idea like that. I was like, why, why am I giving up a month of my life? And so I went to Twitch and I did the same thing that I did with YouTube. I said, hey, I decided on YouTube. Hi, smile. What do you think? And no disrespect to the guys I talked to or Twitch as a whole. The guys who I talked to don't get to decide everything. They are not 
Twitch. Twitch is a giant multi-thousand employee company. There's 18 pipelines things have to go through before they can get done. You, know, it, you have an idea. It won't be executed for 10 months, and it will look nothing like what you originally thought. I know all this. But it still fucking hurt when they said, we wish you the best. Why are Twitch streamers today thinks they should be making LeBron's salary? No one has said that they should be making LeBron salary. I was just comparing it to like being the top content creator on a platform. I mean, again, you're in here, you're watching, but then you're getting mad because like in the end, it's like I am just a regular dude on the internet doing something that you believe you could do as well. And you, you could, you just have to get like profoundly lucky. You know what I mean? You know, there's still a difference there. The difference there being that like, yo, chat. Yeah, I'll see. We got yeah, lucky. Dude, this guy is so entitled. It'll fucking hurt when they said, we wish you the best. And so although I love Twitch, and I always thought of myself as a Twitch guy, they're not going to help me make the shit I want to make. I don't feel especially liked, respected, wanted. I get why Ludwig left, but you have to admit this is just out of touch with the masses. Yeah, well, House hey, guess what, dude? Ludwig is not a socialist content creator, okay? So that's the beauty and the freedom that comes along with just being a person that people enjoy the content of. And he doesn't have to address every single sentiment that he expresses with 11 Ludwig qualifiers so that the anarchists and the Marxist Leninists and the fucking democratic socialists and the, uh, you know, uh, neoliberals and the liberals and the conservatives in the chat don't have to unite to just shit on. Okay, there you go. That is the beauty of just being a variety streamer and not a political content creator. Okay, you don't have to qualify your point of view endlessly. It doesn't matter. Okay, it's not for you. You know what it was for though? You know who it was for? 1.2 million people that watched it and enjoyed it. Okay. It's such a strange thing, like, not just leftists, he's being whiny. I mean, look, he made a big move, okay? He made a big move. It is a big move. It's a big move between two competing platforms. One that is the dominant platform for live streaming. The other making moves in live streaming as well, okay? Multi-millionaire being faced with the reality that they are replaceable, just like most other job positions, comes off as super baby rage. Elwig making an L with his hand. Ultimately... Ultimately, ultimately, this is just for his community. This is a way for him to describe why he made a decision and we're watching it and we're, you know, people in here are getting upset at him for it. I don't know. Maybe it's because I like him that I don't understand why the f you're getting mad. One month later, 10k view videos. No, that's not what's going to happen. You're delusional if you think so. Like what will most likely happen is it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter what happens because, you know, YouTube is giving him, I don't know what his contract looks like, but YouTube gives him a, a, a lump sum of money regardless, right? As long as he hits those uh, metrics that they've negotiated in the contracts. And then it doesn't matter. Even if he 50K, 60K people watching him every time he goes live and eventually goes down to like 10K, 20K, whatever, he's still getting that money. So... All of a sudden, you don't care about the view count anymore. All of a sudden, it's not as much as a grind it is. And I also don't want to do something because it's comfortable. The main thing holding me back from YouTube was fear. YouTube's not Facebook. No offense. <laughs> Chatters of the conservative caricature of bitter envy is left is spending their time being haters instead of working on themselves. I mean, it, it does feel a little bit like that. It's not Mixer. It's fucking YouTube. It's like the biggest website in the world for posting content. But as far as, sorry, as far as like uh, Ludwig saying like Twitch doesn't do more for its content creators, what he means, I do understand. Like with respect to YouTube and the amount of money that they're offering or with respect to YouTube and like what he thinks he'll get from YouTube, I don't know how much he will get from YouTube other than like a good dollar value because YouTube is a gigantic company, much larger than Twitch, where I don't think he will get a, a superstar treatment if we're being real okay uh but but what he's basically saying is like twitch is not taking care of their top content creators as well as they could and i made a pros and cons list and the one con i had for youtube is that i'd feel alone and i'm still scared of that but it's crazy not to do something just because you're scared everything else makes it seem like the right decision and so if it takes a coin flip in an insane negotiation tactic for me to stop being a pussy, then so be it. I don't know if this 
his last two streams he's had double the viewers he's had on twitch yeah of course when you make a big move like that uh i mean that's the same as like dr Disrespect's first youtube stream where he had like 250,000 live viewers for some shit what does he have now i mean i literally don't know but of course that peters out you know, like he'll, he'll his average will probably go back down to what he currently has you know what i mean um like ray used to have 100k 80k average and now she has 20 to 30k average that's just normal you know will be cohesive i'm recording this right after my last ever twitch stream and now i'm a youtube gaming streamer and i don't even play video games <laughs> i don't think they know about that yet but let's just keep that a secret i've worked really hard by the way if you guys haven't heard with auto we made an extension together that's just trying to make the experience on youtube better so all those subs that you had on Twitch are now combined with subs on YouTube, the memberships. No, Ray went up big from Twitch and she stayed, uh, she stayed much larger than she was at Twitch. Ray had like 5,000 people, I think, uh, when she was on Twitch and then on YouTube, she was like at fucking 80k Andy for like a whole year with the Among Us meta. If he makes the video informing the audience, he's called whiny. If he doesn't make the video, someone is pissed that he's avoiding the community. Yeah, I mean, there's no way. And that's because people like complaining. That's it. And this is the only platform where your complaints will be heard by the comment, by the content creator. And that's it. That's like a weird, cathartic, but also very exciting feeling. And that's why a lot of people engage in it. That's it. Complaints are a part of the interactive content experience, which is why a lot of people do that. And, and because a lot of people do that, then their expectation is that like, of course, we're going to get to complain. And of course, you're going to listen to us uh, complain in your chat you know what i mean i couldn't do what you do without just ignoring chat i have no idea how to handle it i'm psycho the name you have you can now change it to your twitch name if you want the emotes okay. will be exactly like twitch emotes i just want to make it as seamless as possible It'll probably be 100k Andy on youtube to be honest i i don't think so i think i mean i have a lot of concerns with going to youtube one of the things that i love about twitch one of the things i do love about being on twitch is that like the chat experience is incredible and this is it like this is this is very uh this is everything for me my community is everything so if i were to go to youtube and that chat experience would change dramatically moderation tools are different chat is different the way that chat pumps out messages is different that would just suck now also on top of that also on top of that youtube and I've talked to my account manager about this. And I've talked to YouTube for years about this. Back when I was at the Young Turks. <sighs> the audacity of this chat saying YouTube chat would be more toxic. You gotta be joking. Hey, no, YouTube, YouTube chat would be more toxic. Attacks. They're not even, I, I don't think holidays. it, it, it nightmare. YouTube politics is nightmare. YouTube politics is still heavily slanted to the right. Heavily. It's not as bad as it used to be. You don't have like overt out and about race realists, uh, white supremacists, hassle, hassle, routinely hassle. spreading propaganda. But YouTube comments and YouTube chat and the YouTube politics space is terrible. Twitch is a smaller platform. So I was able to, with your help, with this community, I was able to create a space here that, in my opinion, changed the, the dynamic of the platform itself to a certain degree. I would not, I would not be able to do that on YouTube, I don't think. And that's a, that's a big problem. But with this community and with the size that this community is, I mean, I think Twitch became a less toxic space for sure. Okay. But also it happened because Twitch is like very rigorous about, you know, making sure that their terms of service, especially amongst their top content creators is held to a certain standard. YouTube does not do that. And Twitch doesn't uh, do a good That's job not. with it. It's inconsistent. People criticize it. I criticize it. I hate having to constantly scroll through to make sure that there isn't like a ass crack or a brief moment where there's like gore or a dead body on stream, okay? And that sucks because you get severely punished for that, right? You know, that sucks, but ultimately that terms of service keeps content creators, um, it keeps content creators like very uh, PC to a degree. That and also the culture on this platform because of its much smaller size is, uh, is, is better overall. YouTube, you can't really do that. I, I would have to be a 500k Andy on YouTube for me to have that kind of impact on YouTube. And even then, I'm not sure if I could change the culture on YouTube like that. Also, Sussy is not on YouTube. So that's a big problem too. For your co-host on a YouTube show, that's true. I mean, I have YouTube properties. I have my own YouTube channel. I'm on one of the largest YouTube podcasts 
like literally one of the largest YouTube podcasts. Also, if you move to YouTube, you would not be number 13. Also, your content would be age restricted because you can use YouTube under 13. I mean, I don't care about not being number 13. The fun thing, the the fun thing about uh, YouTube still is that like, you know, it's a, it's a, an endless space to explore. You know what I mean? It's like so much, it's so much larger, which is insular because of its insularity. It's like a closed circuit. And therefore it's, uh, it's, it, there's a better sense of community here, right? That YouTube does not have. There is no community on YouTube. Let's be real. I don't know if that'll ever change. I don't know what kind of steps that they need to do to change that. Well, I'll watch Asmin chat and tell me about Twitch chat. Right wing here is massive. Just your channel who is left wing. People be hating you on other big channels every day. Yeah, but the content creators don't. So there's that. Asmin Gold's a great example of this. Asmin Gold is supposed to be the crustiest, most like far right streamer. He's not. So it doesn't matter. It's slow. It's a slow process, but crazy and stupid. Regardless, thank you for giving us your time and effort, sharing your intellect and opinions, and for helping us understand shit we don't get. Raised fist. Pepe Le Miz chat. Miz is not either. All the people that you're referencing are nowhere near as like right wing or as like pandery to nowhere near uh, as, as like pandering to right wing commentary and right wing values as most people once were. That's the truth. A lot of chatters and other streamers get chat, get mad when they defend you. I mean, what are you going to do? What do you want them to do? You want them to stop? Miss chat has been weird lately. I can't speak for Miss Gift's current chat because he's going through a wave and he's, he's uh, blowing up. Once uh, that wave dies down a little bit and he like goes back down to having a base community that's larger now, that'll be different, you know? But overall, YouTube is no longer as uh, right wing as it once was either. So there's progress and that's good. It, it you know, it's definitely cause for, it's, it's definitely a sign of progress. I feel like you're perfect for Twitch because you're focused on grinding streams and live reacting with the community. Let's seems good for YouTube because he's focusing more on YouTube videos and raising his ceiling that way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. It's like YouTube is not, uh, you know, YouTube's community tools are not uh, as good, nowhere near as good as the Twitches are. Where are you seeing the right wing on YouTube recede? I'm used to watching Crowder clips in here, so I don't know. Um, They're not receding in the sense that like the top content creators on YouTube are still overtly right wing. I mean, that's just still the truth, but it's not as bad as it used to be. Bro, come on. YouTube, like YouTube politics, the YouTube politics space, like four years ago, YouTube politics was four years ago. YouTube politics was like literally. Okay. They had like straight up people who were like, you know, sick Heiling and shit and all of the, all of the main like essay guys. Okay. Or all the main like culture critiques or cultural commentators were also like slanted towards the right it's not like that at all anymore i mean think about it dude the gamergate era youtube was dog shit in comparison to now they're literally blowing up again it's just more hidden what the numbers are this i don't the dude no no shot dude Ajahn. no shot our hassan is a misogynist hassan is so buff it's misogynistic <laughs> he's too buff guys remember that dominican cab driver we saw you remember that local news story about the Dominican cab driver who was an and we saw the comment section on that video and it was all like, I don't see anything wrong with what he's saying. Six months has flex has bought. That doesn't, it's not like that anymore. You will not find a straight up uh, video with like the entirety of the comment section defending him as, uh, as openly. You still have like anti-vaxxers. You still have, you know, psychotic reactionaries. Of course, you still have Steven Crowder, Ben Shapiro, the Daily Wire cast. It's not good yet, but it's certainly... Take my look, big sub has flex. It, it's certainly gotten a, a better. It's certainly gotten a lot better. You think YouTube would just change for Ludwig? Is lol W? YouTube has broken promises for years and told ICE for years something would change. Told ICE? Are you comparing ICE Poseidon to Ludwig, dude? What are you, crazy? What the fuck is that? I don't think awesome. YouTube will change for Ludwig, but I do think that Fwiz, the guy who handles YouTube gaming, dude, we had this conversation. Ludwig and I had this conversation earlier today with Will. Okay. We had this entire conversation. So check that out on Thursday when the podcast comes out as in tomorrow morning. But I'm not saying that like, you know, YouTube is going to change and it's going to turn into a community because Ludwig moved there. I'm just saying that like, if YouTube wants to become a dominant force in the live streaming space, which they have the capital to do so if they wanted to, they have the capability to do so, they would just have to change, make changes on their platform.
and YouTube gaming is a little separate than YouTube. YouTube gaming is like the live streaming a uh, area and uh, the dude who runs it, Fuez, is actually pretty smart. He knows what he's doing. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's finish this video. Because I, I don't want to lose chat along the way. That's the reason I like streaming. I lose chat. I, I lose the, the, the love I have for streaming. And I promise that extension will only get better. So if you guys haven't already, check it out. It's honestly worth your while. Auto put a lot of time into it. We're going to start adding some cool features like channel points. But it'll be our own custom channel points. So I'll be able to scale the economy because we'll have the whole back end to ourselves. On band forms coming in, included in the, the overall package. There's also things I haven't talked about. Some secrets and surprises. Maybe you guys will find out. But I can hey, promise chat. you one I thing. I hope you all are feeling loved. Hassle. I've been streaming for about four years part-time. Almost four years full-time. And I said I'd only stream five. I'm sorry to say I'm scamming you one more time. I'll be here for at least six. Anyway, boys, I hope you understand a little bit more. Hopefully you respect the decision. And hopefully you come to hang out on YouTube Gaming. Uh, I've always been like a streamer and a YouTuber. Not a lot of streamers can say the same. And that's always going to be the, case, the the same case. I'm still going to be a streamer. And I'm still going to be a YouTuber. I've known Fizz in his web of lies since 2011. Pepela, I've never met him, but I would trust his word about, about as far as I can throw him. I don't know him like that. YouTuber. And I'm going to try to make even cooler shit this year. Thanks for watching as always, boys. And hopefully I see you in the streams. I hope it does well. I just get serious uh, mixer vibes from all the streamers being bought, swapping right now as YouTube tries new things. Hopefully the viewership can be much higher. So they stay after their initial contracts. They made the same promises years ago and still haven't done it. I, I mean, <coughs> I don't know. You can't make <clears throat> an argument because at the tip of the everyone. The difference, is, yeah, but you, here's the seat. thing. YouTube can't fail. But YouTube live stream can be, you know, shelved. But like YouTube obviously won't fail as a platform. Don't be crazy. Nice. That's insane. That would never happen. Like <laughs> YouTube is literally the monopoly on video on, on the, on the website, on, on the world wide web. The alt-right is most definitely calmed down on YouTube, down. but there's a huge alt-right problem on TikTok. There's literally fascist shit that gets 1 million plus likes. Yeah. So show me what the f*** they are so we can take a look at them and uh, I can get a better feel for what's going on on TikTok. But every time I say I want to look at TikToks, y'all send me dummy shit. Okay? <laughs>